who Coach Williams was most worried about, Penn's secret weapon. No, not that one. This one, 10-point guard Michael Jordan. And, you know, Jordan has some air display of his own like this, flying over C.B. McGrath. He'd be okay. And Penn coach friend Dumphy says, thank goodness he'd be okay. Jordan, meanwhile, taking the pass, driving the lane, and that's two of his 12 points in this game. Roy Williams tells his team, think, men, think. Billy Thomas responding from long distance, from the corner. That's good. And then Thomas back to work. Top of the key. Thomas had 15 points on five three pointers here's another example of that let's go driving now with jed ryan ryan driving loses a wheel still finds mj for the layup then it's ryan behind someone else's back to paul you're so romantic for the dunk but kansas too much rafe lafrenz lottery pick lafrenz finished with 25 points kansas crushes penn so congratulations to the third-ranked Jayhawks. They finish in third place in the Franklin National Bank's 5-4 Shante Rogers over the seven-footer Mike Martisic. 24 points for Rogers. Rodney Elliott. Look ahead. LeBron Prophet, he's open. Prophet ties up the game early on. Still in the first half. Terps up three. Terrell Stokes. The steal. Out to Jassa Cavish to Prophet. Another jam. 15 points for Prophet. A minute left in the game now. G-Dub up three. Seiko, camera, nails the three. G-Dub up five. And then camera, getting the Rodgers pass. He's all alone and misses the layup. But Mike Jarvis, well, he's not pleased. Maryland did have plenty of chances down the stretch to win this thing, to tie it up, to do something, but they couldn't do it. So G-Dub are the Franklin Classic champs. Is Rodgers should be up for it, though. Texas is better than Baylor. Baylor was awful in the first half. Throwing it away under the pressure of Miles Simon. More problems for Roderick Miller. In the backcourt again. Stolen this time by Mike Bibby, who skies for the slam. That broke an eight-all tie. And Jason Terry pressures Jamie Kendrick. Sails it over Patrick Hunter's head. That one's out of bounds, and it's slipping away. Arizona not done. They were all over the Bears, bearing down. Bennett Davis into Bibby, who dunks it again. Wildcats up by a dozen. Harry Miller's team was just totally outgunned by the Pac-10 team. Miles Samuel to shoot. Watch Eugene Anderson and Miller underneath. Simon misses. Anderson gets the rebound. Shoots while having the headlock on Miller. Arizona up 15 at the half and still sky. And it's Bibby with the alley-oop to Davison. This is the guy, Brian Skinner, Baylor's best player, but didn't have an assist all year. He was blocking shots like crazy, but when he finally got an assist on a Yikadare, it's free pizza time in Waco. Wacko in Waco. The Cats controlled the carom, 17-10, an offensive rebound. And Charlie Steiner's alma mater, Peoria, ahead of the pack. Josh Asselin off the block, got it back from Robbie Reed. Then Die will miss the three, but... Eric Roberson's there for the follow, and the Braves are hanging in there. Michigan down three late in the game. Lewis Bullock to Jared Ward. The rejection by Roberson. Brian Ellerby thought it should certainly be a trap on the glass. Damon Frierson, the friendly roll, the home rim. It rolls in for three. Frierson at 23. Skip Prosser concerned he should have been. The loose ball gets to Wally Zerbiak. The breakaway reverse jam. He had 29. And the fans storm the court. Oxford going crazy as the Red Hawks win 80 to 72. It's Miami of Ohio's first victory over a top 10 team in 24 years. And it comes against an interstate opponent, said Zerbiak, who scored a game high 29 so far in my career at Miami and in my life. This is the greatest win. Bucknell couldn't be mad. Jerry Tarkanian and John Chaney, much love, much respect. Tark 4 0 career against Cheney. Early first half, Temple down a point. Lenard Stewart with the steal, getting jiggy with it. Fresno State committed 21 turnovers. More Temple D. Lynn Greer steps in front for the steal. Temple 13 first half steals. They're up nine. Late first half, up 17. Pepe Sanchez, the miss, but Lamont Barnes, oh my goodness. Barnes 16 points. Temple could have been charged with second degree larceny. Sanchez, the steal. The other way, Sanchez feeds Barnes. Barnes rocks the rim. 16 steals in the game for Temple. They're up huge at the half. Tark needs therapy and his towel. Temple wins at 76 6 home. Said John Chaney, I felt very small. Number 16, Arkansas, Louisville. Denny Crum, his Cardinals, off to a rocky start. Early first, Tariq Wallace, alley to the skying Derek Hood. Serious skills. Wallace, five assists. Hood, 11 points. But Louisville made a run. Jerry Johnson lobbed to Alex Sanders. Jam. Sanders, 21 points. Arkansas was blowing up from three-point land, though. Pat Bradley, 
20 points. Tariq Wallace, net. Glendon Alexander, Glendon from the side. Alexander again, money. The last of 16 threes the Hawks hit against Louisville. They're up 17. Kareem Reed was all of that. Check out Kareem. Little guy. Got it done. Reed had 25 points. Thanks for the shout out. Lou Henson's 1,000th game. His career and all he gets is a lousy buck. Henson knew how to contain Kenny Thomas by throwing his whole team at him. One on four, he, Thomas called for the travel. Dave Bliss takes umbrage at that call. His team would trail at the half, 31-28. There it is, I'm just flying with the umbrage. Royce Olney's shot let it fly from three-point range. No good, but there's Thomas. He put back in the foul. He had 23, Lobos lead 56-53. A minute and a half to go. It's time for LeBron, Boston LeBron. For three, ties the score at 56. 20 seconds later, New Mexico works it into the corner for only the three and the foul. The four-point play, Bliss hydrating. His team wins 62-59. In fact, only scored nine points in the last Iowa at Northern Iowa. This was not a cakewalk. Chris Burdine puts Northern Iowa up 47-36. And then Tony Bruce would put Northern Iowa up 58-46. Tom Davis, bum it. Iowa would come back, though. Daryl Moore for three. Brings Iowa within five. But on the ensuing play, Terry Kress finds the wide open Chris Burdine for the dunk to ice it and Northern Iowa storm the floor. Who that is? For the Panthers. This may have to come out of the athletic department budget. 84. Yeah, man, think how good they're going to be when he gets back. First half, Duke on D. Elton Brand, the freshman with the block. William Avery, freshman with the push. Elton Brand's it. Duke by 25 in a hurry. Some more defense. The aforementioned Mr. McLeod. Thank you very much. A dozen for McLeod on the night. Lapis and Nova doubled in the first half, 52-26. Second half, there's McLeod. Good look, Chris Carrawell, and a little of that human touch. 13 for Carrawell. Back to Duke D. Steve Wojciechowski he got a hand on it. Wojo looking for Abe Vigoda. Instead finds Chris Burgess, 10 for the freshman center. Duke shot 54.4%, and they blew out Nova 94 to 66. But I don't think Roy was happy at halftime. KU down by three. The UMass. Second half, Billy Thomas draining the triple. He had 21. KU up by one. Under a minute to go. Charlton Clark. Starokin, 5 of 6 from behind the arc. We're tied at 71. Bruiser's happy. 25 seconds left. Go to the stars. Paul Pierce, no. Big Ray, yes. 16 for LaFrance. Kansas up by a deuce. UMass with the last chance. Monty Mack, who had a nice night, loses the ball. Thomas has been around way too long to do that. UMass again. Clark, the man, for the tie. Oh, Kettner tried to follow it, couldn't get it to go, so thanks for playing our game. We do have some fabulous parting gifts. Bruiser wanted a foul on that play. He didn't get it, and Kansas wins it 73-71. to The Jayhawks have now won P1 throw overall against Virginia. Size doesn't matter. 6-2, Ricky Moore blocks 6-5. Monte Marcaccini Cavs hit just one of their first 14 shots. They had six turnovers and two air balls in the first five minutes. You comes up 11 at the break. Second half, six-foot Donald Hand has the upper hand on 6-11, Jake Bosco, but UConn gets it done. Khalid el -Amin. Now, this kid has provided a big-time spark. He finds Rip Hamilton, bottom. 14 of UConn's 16 points in a five-minute stretch of the second half. He finished... Hoops. 20 seconds to go in the game. Southwest Missouri State leading Idaho by three. Chris Bowman misses the three but gets his own rebound. Throws up the prayer and it goes. Score tied at 61 to overtime we go. A little over a minute to play. It's Bowman again for three. Boom. Idaho up by two, however, 70-68. Down three with two seconds to go. Ryan Bettenhausen, the desperation in and out, and Idaho hangs on 74-71. This game even deadlocked at halftime. Avery Curry led all scores with 28 for the Vandals. Steve Alford's Bears dropped to 3-5. and five. TCU versus Mississippi Valley State. Big knife for knee. Nalon of TCU. Lee Nalon had 24 points in the first half. Later, Mike Jones misses the jumper here, but Nalon there for the tip in and the all-important scream. Nalon was 23 of 30 from the floor. TCU coach Billy Tubbs impressed, and why not? Nalon finished with 53 points, a new school record. TCU wins it.
teams aren't ranked. Duke, though, 70 and 7 when they're ranked number one. That's what they were going to this game on Saturday. Steve Wojciechowski drives, feeds the freshman Elton Brand. He finished with 19 points and 12 boards. That's part of a 15 4 Duke run. Second half, Lewis Bullock heats up, knocks down the three. Then the junior from Temple Hills, Maryland, hits the deep three in front of the Wolverines bench. Then another triple. And then how about this one? Way downtown. He was four for four from behind the three point arc. Michigan fights back from down 17. Then. Gerard Ward stuffs it down for two of his 13 points, and Coach K can't believe it. Duke down three. Wojciechowski misses the three. Duke just 9 of 29 in the second half. Then Duke down five. Trajan Langdon throws it away. One of 14 Duke turnovers, and Steve Fisher watching his old team beat number one. And they love it as Michigan overcame a 17-point deficit to pull off the upset. Duke scored just two baskets over the final set. Dakota with the drive shot is blocked, but he gets it back and then watch the fake behind the back pass and scoops it in for two of his ten. Look at it again. Oh, funky little move there by Coda. And then later, Coda alley-oop to Vince Carter. Look at him elevate and send it home. He had 11 points. We're tied at 21. Then second half, Shimon Williams to the drive and the layup. He finished with 19 points, and Bill Guthridge is still undefeated as Dean Smith's replacement. The Tar Heels out of Baltimore. First half, Eagles on fire. Antoine Brockington, what a game. 32 points for Coppin. They eventually took an 11-point lead, but here comes Arizona. Jason Terry knocking down the three, capping off a 15-zip run. Arizona up five at the half, and then Terry steals the pass, gives it to Michael Dickerson. Arizona up 11, Wildcats pull away, Simon to Terry, and he ends it nicely on his backside. He's fine, his team is fine. Coppin made 11 of his first 14 shots and led by as many as 11 in the first. Kentucky hosting number 23, Georgia Tech. Wayne Turner here driving for the Cats, but Alvin Jones leads the country in blocks. That's one reason why. More Jones, an errant full court pass, and his hustle takes him over and out. He also was okay. Tech up at one point by 10, but Kentucky began to run. Jeff Shepard steals the ball, gives it to Allen Edwards, who goes all the way in for the jam. He had 12 on the day. Hashimu Evans. There and there again, the extension and the finish. He finished with a team high 14. Kentucky wins it by 14. Evans six. We're Iowa and Iowa State. Second half, Iowa by five until Jerry Curry hits his fifth three of the game. Iowa State cuts the lead to two. Just over four minutes to go now. Stevie Johnson. To Paul Shirley. Oh, up and under off the window. Cyclones up by one. Now, Iowa down one. Ryan Bowen misses inside, but he gets it back and watch him put it up and in for two of his nine points. He also had 11 boards. Ten seconds left. Matt Knoll. The drive, no good. Johnson rebounds, but he falls down and he can't score. And Iowa State coach Tim Floyd wanted a foul call, but to no avail. So Iowa escapes with a one point win over Iowa State. The Hawkeyes survive shooting just and one. Clemson and Illinois second half. Terrell McIntyre, the catch and shoot. That's a three. He hit six of his first seven shots. And then Illinois playing some defense, courtesy of Jerry G. Get it out of here on Tom Weidman. Then G again. Stuffs Harold Jamison, one of his four blocks. Then G on the offensive end. Matt Heldman feeds G, and he throws it down on Weidman for the jam. He had 13 points. And then G. Gets the pass from Brian Johnson, and he will put it up and in and draw the foul. He had 10 boards, and Illinois uh, put this one away from the free. Here in the first when James Posey steals the pass and then knocks over the official. One of five steals for Posey, one knockdown for the official. Since he retains possession, but the pass is stolen again. This time, Darnell Williams does it. And he takes it all the way in, two of his six points. Xavier up 15 at the half. Cincinnati had trouble holding on to the ball in the second half. As Lenny Brown takes it away, takes it away. and look at this move. That's pretty cool. Hooping the foul since he turned the ball over 29 times. Check it out. Xavier wins it by 20. 29 turnovers for Cincinnati. More hoops, UNLV at Rhode Island first half. Rhodey up five. Tyson Wheeler, what a crossover. Nails the jumper. Wheeler had 20. Rhodey up 16 here in the second half when we pick it up. Catino Mobley. We'll slam it for us nicely. Part of a 24 run for the Rams. UNLV coach Billy Baino not happy his team loses. Nebraska taking on the Minnesota Golden Gophers late second half. Teron Lee with the behind the head pass to Larry Florence. Huskers up five at Minnesota. Gophers cut it to three. Last chance, 10 seconds left. Quincy Lewis all alone for three. He misses it. Nebraska holds on for the four-point win. Ball State and Wisconsin. Bonzi Wells is good.
as he pulls up and nails a three. Then Bonzi picks off the pass and watch the work. Not bad. He had 33 Ball State wins. South Alabama taking on Indiana. IU up four with 21 seconds left. Michael technical Lewis hits five technical free throws to ice the game really for the Hoosiers. Really kind of Indiana wins 64 to. Game tied at 81. Florida ball. 10 seconds to go. Jason Williams to Damon Maddox. Uh, bad shot. Randall Jackson grabs the ball, calls timeout. Seminole coach Steve Robinson maps it out. 2.9 to go. Seminole's ball. Jeff Brower going deep. Randall Jackson going to the rack. Got it. Plus he got fouled. Missed the foul shot, but won the game. Florida State 83 to 81 in the comeback. So the Seminoles are 7 to 1, just barely. South Florida, and they only scored 49 points. And Michael Red nearly scored that many points in this night off the steal. Puts Ohio State up 16 at halftime. Second half, more from Michael Red. Cuts back door and puts it in very nicely. Worthy of a second gander. Puts it in reverse, hanging and hooping. Red, the leading scorer in the Big Ten, scored a career-high 28 points. I love mascots.